How can I assist you today, Dorothy? Hello, Jack. Would you explain to me what you mean when you say the public democracy is colorable? Sure, Dorothy. Colorable is the opposite of black and white. Black and white is either pure truth or pure lies. Colorable is some of the truth, but not all of the truth. When the military takes over in a nation, there are two casualties. The first casualty in war is money. They scoop it all up, warehouse it, and then they bring out war scrip, which is not money. That is what your Federal Reserve notes are today, because we are living under a military government. The government scooped up all the gold and issued war scrip. The second casualty in war is truth. As soon as the war starts, any of the statements coming out of the military do not contain the whole truth. It contains part of the truth with a mixture of lies so that it will deceive the enemy so that the enemy does not have an advantage in their counter efforts against the military. So, when the military is in power, they never tell the whole truth. That is called colorable. Remember the movie called a few good men. It was a military court martial, and General Nathan Jessup, played by Jack Nicholson, was on the witness stand. Now, the military wanted what, in terms of this proceeding? They did not want the truth. The military never wants the truth. They wanted a whitewash to cover up what went on with the death of Private Santiago. A whitewash just sufficient enough so they could tell the parents. They looked into it. They specifically chose this prosecutor, Lieutenant Caffey, played by Tom Cruise. For what reason did they choose him? Because he had successfully plea bargained every case he ever had. That's right. He never went to trial. He settled every case before trial. In the private. So they wanted Lieutenant Caffey to go and not do a huge investigation. But... Lieutenant Caffey did something totally out of character. Instead of settling it, he decided he was going to go for justice and the truth. And, to do that, he brought it into trial. When he was cross-examining the highest-ranking officer, General Nathan Jessup, who could have been responsible for this problem, Caffey was pushing him to give him answers, and General Nathan Jessup finally blurts out, You can't handle the truth. He was saying, you are in a world of fiction. You are in the world of the military, in which truth is never exposed. That is the court system of the world today. You are looking for justice, in a military tribunal. That is not a place for truth. Everything that goes on in there is colorable.